Hey everyone, happy new year and happy Monday. Um, I've decided to start the new year by closing out the last year. Um, does this look familiar? This is my uh, creative accountability book that I started. I probably didn't start it until March, but I did do the entire year. And uh, this was a monthly record of how I was showing up for myself creatively every day. And I have finished the whole year and I will do a little bit of a, a quick flip through when we are done um, putting this into a book form. I thought about binding it. I was trying to figure out ways to do it, but I couldn't figure out a way that would not be covering um, up at least a couple of my covers. So I decided maybe I would do a little slip case. They all fit in here. And so my job today is to cover this and make it look pretty, and these will sit on my shelf. So that's what I'm gonna take you along for. What I have is a Christmas lights box. It's a nice sturdy corrugated cardboard, but it's not very attractive. So I'm going to glue some pieces of uh, book page, ledger paper. Um, I'm going to glue that all around and then maybe do a light coat of gesso and then I'm going to cover it with this, I think it's tea bag paper, but it has strings in a grid form glued into it. So this is going to be my outside. Okay, so everything is dry now. I ended up um, covering all of the inside as well as the outside with the vintage papers and then I did that tea bag paper and that um, secured nicely. It's really simple, super simple. I'm not gonna embellish this at all because there's so much going on in the calendar pages. So um, I'll do a quick little flip through of these. Um, I think I pretty much already did January, February, and March because I was, I was doing those uh, in the previous video, but here are the folders and I did keep track of my books each month that I made. This was kind of a big year for making books for me. And um, I ended up making 73 books through this whole year. So that was quite an accomplishment. Um, this month I was, there's Easter in here. Uh, I don't know. I think there was just a lot of outdoor activity. I started doing some sketching in here just for fun. And then I think the next month, I really started doing a lot more sketching. Yeah, I did a little more. And there's also a video on that too, when I was doing the, um, the itty bitty art, I think is what I called it. I don't remember, yeah, itty bitty art book. And um, just with the, the marker drawings. And those were, those were really fun to do. And they added so much color to the pages. So here's June. We did some travel and I tried to put some things in there for travel if they caught my eye, like restaurants that were um, had a cool menu or a neat logo, something like that. And again, just keeping track of my books that I made throughout the year. In August, uh, July, August, and September, I got behind on, but I did end up catching up on them. And I kept things in order to fill these in after I, uh, I hosted a retreat. And that kind of got me behind a little bit on the daily recording. Um, but it was, uh, it was really fun. And I learned in this process that I have accomplished a lot in a year creatively. And it's nice to have a record to look back on it. And, um, you know, to have actually kept track, this was when I was hosting the retreat here pictures from that, um, a table set up. These are welcome bags that we had. A little bit of the setup. 
and teaching. So it's very fun, but um, yeah, I it was a very valuable project. Um, I don't plan to do it again. Uh, this year at least, because I feel like I proved to myself in this last year that I do show up quite regularly creatively and I don't really need to keep a daily record of it anymore. Um, and if I feel myself lagging in creative endeavors, I can look back on this year and I can be motivated to do something else. Um, this year, I kind of made a special book here that has my Christmas decorations in it. So I just did an accordion book, and then I put fabric on it so that it would hold the binding. And then this has my Christmas decorations in it, which I also shared in my Handmade Holiday series. And that just tucks in there. And then um, I was part of a, a tag. Um, I was a guest artist on a tag series. We baked a ton of cookies and some of the things that we did over the holidays. And I finished it off with one more um, pen and ink marker sketch. And we ended with a trip to Florida and, and my final books. So uh, it was a very fun experience, and um, I'm glad to have finished it. I feel really proud of myself for doing that. I did add a little bit of sari ribbon to each of the folders because they looked kind of plain in here. But um, I think this will be a treasure for years to come to refer back to. So um, again, Happy New Year. Thanks for coming along. I hope you're off to a good creative start for 2024 and I'll see you in the next one.